So, what do we have this week? A walnut side table, round top and a round underneath support, jig. We also have three tapered legs that have a chamfered tapered detail on the side as well. Another jig. And then we also have a nice chamfer, really deep, sharp chamfer on the underside of the table as well, which is another jig. So let's get started. Right, first snag of this build. As you've just seen, I was scraping off the excess glue with the paint scraper, and I weirdly just put some pressure on here. Notice, there's a crack. Crack, no crack. Crack, all the way along that, no crack. This is rectifiable, because it doesn't go all the way through to the other side. If it did, and was nearly at the end of it, I would just snap it off, potentially glue it back, or cut that entire board off, and then put a new board on, simply. But I think I'm gonna get away with it and just glue it as much as possible, get some glue inside that seam, clamp it all up again, we can continue from there. Now the top is being glued up, again, <laughs> I'm gonna carry on with the length.
Confession time once again. Okay, so this is the under support piece that will go under the top of the table. But I've made these domino mortises too close to each other. So you put one in here, the other one can't go in. Well, it can, but it's too close. It's hitting each other. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue these domino pieces in because I only just set them back about four mil. Leave them overnight and then I'll flush trim them off and then I can start again and I can just set them back. You'll never see these anyway. The legs will cover them. Yeah. Ah, I was so hoping to get this glued up tonight. But these things happen. Woodworking is all about learning how to fix things. Yeah. some sanding to do and then I'll uh, do some round overs on this top little bit here and then I'll glue up. I'm not gonna film this. It's just me taking tape off. It's the most boring thing in the world to watch. <laughs> that is looking so good. So strong. Now on to spin you around. This out the clamps, get the circle cut, and then we'll get that really sharp taper done. Yeah? Yet? Because if you haven't, you'll be missing out on upcoming builds like this solid white oak TV cabinet with nice inlaid drawer handles, soft closed drawers, and a complete grain match on the front of the drawer thingy my jiggy bobbies. You're missing out, so go subscribe.
wonderful walnut side table. Now I'm here for you lot that are working from small workshops and spaces like mine, probably even smaller, because you can make furniture that's not just from pallet wood or reclaimed wood. Not there's anything wrong with that. I started out with that, but there's so much more beautiful wood out there, you know, like this walnut. So get making, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I don't know why I was trying to I don't know what I was trying to do, that was my head became a hand? I don't know. Bye guys, bye! Waiting for the lorry driver to stop faffing around outside. You done? Are you done? I think they're done.